¿Qué pasó, mi gente? Es Antonio de Cubes y Gas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Se te agradece from right here. Del corazón. Uh, that's from the heart. I appreciate all the good comments as well as the dumb comments as some of the ridiculous comments on my page. You didn't have to sit there and, and give me 10 minutes of your time or 12 minutes, whatever, how long the video is. And, and write something else. So I appreciate you. As promised, I am going to answer some questions that people put on my page. Hopefully, I'm able to help you out. I wrote down uh, what I thought was the eight best questions, and here are the answers. Number one is, uh, why don't speak about a few of the killings that's been highlighted in the news Uh down in the eye. Number one is, if you know me, is that I'm only going to speak of what I know. I can't, I can't sit here and talk about open investigations or closed investigations. I have no knowledge. Because if I sit here and I give you information that's not accurate, you're going to look at me like this guy speaks out of his ass. And I'm not in the business of speaking out of my ass. And because I'm not in that business, I cannot sit here and I cannot be like, yo, um, this, this, and that. It's, it's just it's just be a disservice to you and it be a disservice to me. So because of that, I refuse to talk about it, okay? Number two is, have you ever gotten burned or hustled by a mango? The answer is yes. Uh, that's how I'm able to... Uh, give you some of my experience, give you what they talked about when I've, I've been going for 14 years uh, in a row to down to the, the DR. And throughout that 14 years, especially at the beginning, I got God, but I got God uh, in a way that I was dealing with somebody. And, you know, I liked this mango so much that I, I kept on in communication with the mango. And then the mango would... Um, Give me excuses like, oh, you know, my mom is in the hospital and this and that. And I was saying $50 here, $100 there. And then I got lucky that my friend was like, yo, it's a hustle. Don't do it. But I wasn't going crazy sending, like, people sending cases of sneakers, sending all type of iPods and iPhones and, and all of that. And, 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 and the reason I think it's crazy is that when you're out there sending stuff to people, I understand that you're sending stuff into a mango, and and then you're the only one that's that's that has this mango, is tasting this mango, enjoying this mango. But when you have so many people that are enjoying the mango, and and you and you are taking care or helping the mango, the mango has no loyalty to you. So that's why I say, you know, it's ridiculous to to overexpend for something that you're not gonna, there's no value in it, so I don't do it. Number three, and this was to me was simple, quick, um, somebody asked me what was the best spot in, uh, pizza spot in Susua. I just never had pizza in the Dominican Republic. You know, as a Latino man, I refuse to go out there and don't have my arroz con, con habichuela y mi pollo, o arroz con pollo, mi bistec, uh, o mi pescado este, a la parrilla. So I, 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 I have to eat, you know, I don't go to a steakhouse and order salmon. You know what I mean? I go to a steakhouse and, and order the steak. So uh, if I'm going to Latin America, I'm, I'm going to eat the food from there because that's what I was raised on. I was raised on the uh, Latino food. So the answer is that. Um... Uh, this other question is, why do you call them mangoes? Well, I call them mangoes because, man, mango is my favorite fruit, you know. If you have a good mango, a juicy mango, man, you always going to remember that mango. You know, you touch it. You smell it. You taste it. It feels good. It tastes good. You always want to get another one. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, it's Caribbean. You know what I mean? So if you go to the Caribbean, you're going to find a lot of mangoes. You, you go to Puerto Rico. You go to Cuba, you go to Jamaica, you go to Dominican Republic, you're always gonna, you know, and you get yourself a good mango, you just can't beat it. So I love mangoes, and, and mangoes are Caribbean, and I'm a Caribbean Latino, and uh, I call them mangoes, mangoes, you know, I always did that since I was young. Um, another question is, um, um, 
What's the difference between uh, Santo Domingo and Susua? Well, Santo Domingo is the capital. So that means that they move faster. It's a lot of movement. Uh, is 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 the political world of of that island? Uh, all the politicians are up there. If you want to make things happen on the political side, that's where you go. So Suez was of a tourist spot. is a is is fantasy island. The capital cannot be fantasy island, but it is. Um, so Suez fantasy island. So a lot of uh, people go to Susua for fantasy island. Uh, the capital um, has a lot of nightclubs and it has a lot of parties and they go all night long, but it's faster. Uh, you're going to see a, a lot of uh, Dominicans from New York when they come back to the island. That's where they're hanging out at in those clubs, in those areas. Uh, they got the bigger clubs. Uh, and when I say big, I mean by size. Uh, there's, it's more expensive. Uh, certain things are more expensive, like the nightlife is more expensive in the capital than it is in Susua. Uh, and, and, and people have a different vibe. You know, it's like we are the city, you know, we, we, we are, are the beat of this island. And that's what happens in Santo Domingo. Let me check that off, guys. Um, is Susua safe? Um, I think Susua is safe. Uh, um, uh, of course, you're going to have... There's going to be somebody probably fighting somebody or somebody cursing somebody out. But uh, one thing we have to understand is that um, tourism is extremely important for that country. It's the number one you know, thing for them. That's how they get a lot of their revenues. That's why it's kind of crazy what's going on. They highlighted a couple of things. But um, I know a lot of people in Susua. Uh, I feel safe in Susua. Um, uh, like I said, I've been going for 14 years down there. Um, so if you ask me, by my experience, by what I've been through, by what I've seen, I'm going to say yes. Okay? And knock that out the, out the way. Um, somebody asked me, who is Squad is Squad? And you'll see those in some of my T-shirts. Squad is Squad is my boy, uh, D.A. Davi, who is from Philly but lives in D.C. And um, he decided... He was one of the, he was the first one of the crew to go down there to Susua. I uh, went to a friend of ours, Eric, or rest in peace, to his party and took the baton from there and started doing Super Bowl parties. And the idea of Squad is Squad is uh, people networking and having a good time at the same time. So we, we do these events, we do these parties, we do events from D.C., we do them down in the Dominican Republic. We get people from everywhere. We got people from Philly, we got people from New York, we got people from Arizona, we got people from D.C., people from V.A., uh, people from Cali. We get down together, we, we throw out the day, we sit down, we have, we, you know, we have some conferences, we talk. We try to figure out how can we all make money off each other as black men, as blacks and Latinos. How can we make money? How can we take it to the next level? So uh, my man, D.A., he uh, created this uh, for everybody to try to network. We're trying to build a network. You know, uh, uh, having mangoes is great, but, you know, what happens, you know, I don't want to get one mango at a time. I'm, sometimes I want to be able to afford a bunch, a whole a sack of mangoes, you know what I mean, and and more. So you know that's why I love Squad and Squad. That's why I'm part of Squad and Squad, and and that's my crew. All right. Um. Uh, somebody say is Susu the only place you get mangoes? No, you can get mangoes anywhere you go out there. Well, let me say, technically anywhere you could go, but because Susua, Susua is the is the market. That's that's the you are you, you you if you go other places in the uh, country they got stores that you could go in and get you know like a little uh, if you're from New York they're gonna call it bodegas a little wow houses if you're in Philly little you know convenience stores that you could go to you could yeah you could get your mangoes but Susua is the market it's the big market and the beautiful thing about Susua is that. You are going to find mangoes from all over uh, the island. Uh, and that's the advantage that they have. And not only that, there's so much mango in Susua that 
Shit, you see, man, there'd be mangoes laying on the floor, like I say, uh, just falling off the tree like it's nothing. And people, so much mango that sometimes people don't, even, you can't even pick the mangoes up. So, I believe that I answer all, um, all your, your questions. I appreciate you taking time to asking these questions to me. Uh, please don't forget to tell somebody about my YouTube channel. I appreciate you, and um, I'll see you at the next video. I'm out.